how to uh, set up MediaWiki and then set up the Semantic MediaWiki extension for the MediaWiki web server. So I'm going to start off with a directory here that has primarily a Docker file and uh, a couple uh, scripts that go with it, like the make file. So let's look at that Docker file first. So inside the Docker file, we have uh, the MediaWiki base image, and then we're going to install a couple packages like vim, unzip, and libzip. And then we're going to grab the composer, and we're going to grab version 1 because that's what's compatible with Semantic MediaWiki. Once we've got the composer, we're going to create a, a JSON file which contains the reference to the MediaWiki, Semantic MediaWiki extension. So that extension is going to be installed by running composer update after we've right, specified that in the JSON configuration. Let's take a look at the make file. Uh, there we've automated quite a bit of uh, the steps. So we're going to start with this Docker build process that'll kick off the Docker file that we just looked at. So, um, And then after we've built the Docker file into an image, we're going to run compose. And the compose stands up a Maria database that goes with the MediaWiki uh, Docker uh, container. So we're going to make sure that we don't have any existing files in the way. And then we're going to make two directories, database and images. The database is what's going to actually contain, that folder will contain what the Maria database is using, and then images where the offline images will go. And then we'll take the, uh, the YAML file, which um, contains the configuration for Docker Compose, and we're going to remove the local settings temporarily. And then once we've got that, we'll send up the new MediaWiki instance. And then that'll open up in Chrome to configure the MediaWiki. Right, so let's run this first compose target in the make file. And when that first compose runs, it's going to build the MediaWiki with SMW image. So first we're going to build that MediaWiki image. It's going to build the J uh, create the JSON file and then run compose. So the Docker compose uh, finished uh, running and now it's going to automatically open up Google Chrome to the relevant uh, configuration page. So MediaWiki hasn't been set up yet. So we're going to have to create that setup configuration files. So this is where we configure the Maria database connection. Uh, it's database. And then, so if you try and connect with this immediately, it might not work because it's waiting for the connection to the Maria database, which doesn't exist yet. So we have to get a, a few seconds for Maria database to figure out that it is running and then eventually this command will work. All right, so that time it caught. Um, so it connected to the database. And then we need to specify the name of our wiki and our username. everything else. And then once it's completed, it's going to give us the, the new local settings.php file. That's in our directory. Yeah, overwrite the one that's in there. All right, so now we're done with the web browser. Close out of that. 
and I'll show you where the password was set for that. So if I look in uh, a, a .env file that I have, the variable is mysql underscore pw equals example. So that's the password that I was giving for a wiki user. And you can see where that was being referenced in stack.yaml. So at the bottom of that, uh, the Maria database uh, has a uh, MySQL password, and that's being set to the MySQL underscore PW, which is coming from the .env uh, that we specified in, in the environment file. All right, so what's next? If we look back at our make file, then we'll see that the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to run this first compose. And the first compose is going, oh, not that one, that's the one we just ran. We're going to run an update PHP. So update PHP is going to remove that temporary Docker compose file that we created. And it's going to add the line enable semantics into our local settings that we just downloaded. Then it will run the Docker compose file, grab the name of that, uh, that running image, and then it's going to uh, run the PHP update script. So let's run update PHP as a make target. All right, for some reason it didn't grab that. So let's run Dr. exec So now it's going to update all the extensions in the MediaWiki image that includes the semantic MediaWiki extension, which you should see scrolled by here quickly when it says SMW. There's all the SMW, that's the semantic MediaWiki tables for the database. So that completed in 21 seconds, which is pretty long. That's because it was instantiating all those uh, semantic media wiki database tables. So now if we can, we can check that by going to special pages under our wiki and version. So to verify, These are our semantic extensions. So that means we have semantic media wiki installed and available. So the last steps, if you really wanted to persist this, you'd want to make sure to uh, take a snapshot of this, save off the current running image into a, so take the snapshot of the container, and make it into an image. So that's included in the make file. Here's where you would uh, run docker commit and the name of the container ID and then make that your, your new image.